guys, it's Triple Sir and here from back to another video review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Lego Hero Factory Transformers Prime RC. Now, I know what y'all are probably wondering. Wayne, I thought you already made a Lego Hero Factory Transformers RC video. Well, as a matter of fact, I did. And um, the problem with that video is that that video got a copyright strike. So I figured I might as well remake the video and... I figured I might as well update RC while I'm at it too. And I update her by giving her wheels. As you can see, she's got four wheels. Two right up front here to make her um, upper wheel, and then two right back here to make her back. And she also has a windshield right here. So this little visor piece from the Brain Attack Hero Factory line is actually being used as the windshield for her uh, vehicle now. So yeah, look at that, she got some knee pads, her feet, basically everything about her skeletal structure has been kept exactly the same, the armor is the same, except, except for the thigh armor, I think I changed the thigh armor, maybe, I, I don't know, I can't really remember right now, the feet are the same, the hands and the arms are the same, the back is pretty much the same, the, the torso and the head are all basically the same, the only thing that I really changed is the fact that she has a wheel. And the weapons are, for the most part, the same, also. She actually does have these two arm blades. So she has the two arm blades, but she also has these two additional arm blades. If you think those arm blades are too large, and she does have two uh, show accurate color arm blades that are the same color as her arm blades in the show. You know, silver, so. And then she also has these two little blasters. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, handheld, not actually coming out of her arms, but still. And she also does have this bigger gun, just because I felt like giving it to her. RC is a small woman with a big gun. She deserves a big gun. At least in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, transformation is actually pretty simple. I just want to take the arms, just kind of fold them out. Oh yeah, actually, before I show you the transformation... Let me just show you how her wheels work in her vehicle mode. You know, she rolls, she can roll pretty well, actually. Once you get them positioned in the way how you want them to be positioned, she can roll really well. But here's the cool part. You can see that the uh, back wheel up front is attached onto her back. The cool part is that you can actually turn the front wheel in any direction and she'll actually turn in that direction so as you can see i turned it to the right she's actually turning right so you actually can like steer or rc in your own direction which is really cool kind of like you're actually steering an actual motorcycle through them might as well show that off so yeah very simple transformation you just want to take the arms pull them out i mean it's a simple transformation there's just a lot of steps that go into it very simple. Take your little chest plate and fold that down, then fold down her windshield. There's nothing really you can do about the windshield, it just folds down across her chest. And fold up her head and rotate it. Um, then take her legs and then the wheel well back here was like out like this. You want to push it against the back of her legs and then just split her legs like so. I'm gonna rotate her feet and just kind of have, have the wheel well sit at an angle against her foot. I guess you could kind of get it out of the way if you really wanted to. And these little wheels will kind of uh, represent little heels on the back of her legs. You wanna fold out her uh, little wings on the back right here. Fold up the low wings, fold them up, and put them at an angle. And then this wheel, you just want to fold up against her back. Kind of like so. Like this, or like this. Me, personally, I prefer to fold it up against her back like that. And then once you get everything all straightened out, here she is. In her newly updated robot mode. 
which I mean her robot mode hasn't really been updated all that much it's just been updated in the fact that she's got an extra chest plate and basically the same head same skeletal structure I think these are different knee pads I can't really remember those might be different knee pads don't quote me on that though Yeah, I did unfortunately delete the uh, Lego Hero Factory Transformers RC video, the uh, first one I made, so, um, yeah, you can just see how everything, all the wheels on her back all just compress on her. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you can totally just remove her, her back cable. I mean, you know, you just pull it out and she just doesn't have any back cable in that definitely does add a lot more thinness to her body as she should have so she's kind of a small character she doesn't really have that much of a backpack on her but if you really want show accuracy the um, wheel well or the uh, wheel on her back the motorcycle wheel actually does compress in her back in the actual show it's kind of hard to tell, but it, it's just barely sticking out of her back. You can kind of see it on her CGI. And yes, this gun is basically just as tall as she is. So there's a size comparison. I'm kidding. For real size comparison, here she is next to Hulkbuster. And of course, the Lego Hero Factory figure is going to be taller than that Lego Hulkbuster. Because those bone pieces are just freakishly huge. I'm not even joking. So I might as well just arm her up there. Give her some weapons. You can have like a big dual wielding blaster right here with a giant blade attached to it. you can put a little tiny blade on her other arm and then give her the BFG after you drop it on the phone floor the table I, I, there you go there's our seal armor top so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe share and recommend my videos to others who may enjoy my content and a little sneak peek preview of tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video will be a special 4th of July video. A special Lego Hero Factory 4th of July figure. And I'll give you a hint. It's special because the color scheme is the color of the American flag. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.